I am on the side of the police commissioner. I believe his version and what transpired is the truthful version. At this stage, I am, however, going to ensure that there be complete full investigation. That has been done. I think we are awaiting um, the three statements from Mr. Nigel Hughes. I rather suspect that the f he, he called me and indicated that they're very fearful. And to that extent, then I don't know what. We would like to complete the file and send it to the DPP in accordance with the regular procedures. And I rather suspect, knowing what happens, having been in the DPP for a number of years too, that a um, coroner's inquest is going to be ordered. What leads you to be on the side of the police? Uh, their credibility and their reliability, and the fact that there were some questions to be asked of the light guy on the roof. Um, I don't want to go further, but you know these matters can have uh, a way with them and so on. But the trouble is, the coroner's inquest is going to find out even better because there can be the witnesses being called there, and I hope that um, the coroner being the kind of investigator, they're not going to be afraid to come forward. All those witnesses who are allegedly um, eyewitnesses to the actual incident. So they could come forward at the coroner's inquest. Also, how will you explain showing your support behind the police before we've had that inquest? Simply because that's what you normally do. When there is an investigation as to a murder, what do you expect me to do? The police, you question the police investigation? You do not. The majority of the cases, any good responsible government will attach some credibility and reliability on police investigators. And that's how it is. That's the routine thing. Unless there's something so badly done or so egregious that you're going to question the police immediately. Well, multiple gunshots. Yeah, well, there were multiple gunshots, but that does not necessarily one, mean... One gun, and there are question marks as to whether all of the policemen, or all of the men who were killed, posed a threat to the policemen. Uh, those were concerns. Well, we were told that they were firing at a policeman, and there was uh, shots fired at the, the policeman, and they had to shoot back, and that's what caused the police to shoot probably as many times as possible. Like all of them were shooting at the police? Well, it would appear so. But there again, I am not clear on all the circumstances, and that's what's going to be done at the coroner's inquest. Because I don't want us to start demoralizing our policemen. There is an extraordinarily negative that can happen. And I am going to support my policemen until such time as they are proven to have been, done something wrong. Just like how all suspects and criminals and accused got the presumption of innocence on their side, why are we behaving like this with our police? By saying that they executed and they murdered. 